Tonight, new details uh, from a triple shooting that left one man dead. We first brought you this story as breaking news last night at five. This is surveillance video from that shooting, and it shows the moments shots were fired on Jacksonville's west side yesterday afternoon, leaving one man dead and two others injured. Our Atia Collins is on your side tonight with a closer look at that video, and she's also speaking with a crime expert. Atia is joining us from the scene right now with more. Yeah, Anthony, that triple shooting happened right here in this business complex you see behind me, and it happened yesterday afternoon. But today, I went into the business right next door and got surveillance video of the shooting. In this video, you can see one of the victims running from the scene and looking for help. In the video, you see a customer leaving a store before hearing multiple shots. Seconds later, a man in a blue shirt appears from around the corner. He looks to be shot and drops to the sidewalk before crawling to a nearby business. EMS is seen arriving moments later. The man is one of two people hurt and underwent surgery, according to police. One man was also killed. Police have not identified any of those involved. At the time of the shooting, investigators said gang units were in the area trying to determine if the men involved were gang affiliated. Crime expert Kim Varner, who worked on the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office gang unit over a decade ago, says investigators will look at past incidents and persons to see if there is a connection. You have the gang unit, you have the, uh, the, the, the uh, gun violence unit, and they have different units that, that, that work together. And like I said, you track a particular individual. You, all, the gang, all the documented gang members are tracked by different units in the sheriff's office. Now, police said yesterday that the suspect ran from the scene and was wearing a mask. At this time, they are still looking for that suspect and ask anyone with information to reach out to JSO or to Crime Stoppers. Reporting on Jacksonville's west side, Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.